Hey, sweet bands, this is Kara, and welcome back to my channel. Um, yeah, really bad turbo. Choppers on deck, everything is on the man. You wanna check, but you gotta have a plan. And she's soaking wet, she dripping, goddamn. My little butter pecan, yeah, she got a tan. Girl, you need a man, and he need them bands. So, um, I told you guys I was going to be doing better about posting. I didn't think you guys believe me, but I, here I am with another video. And, <clears throat> sorry guys, I'm sick. If my voice is, like, a little different, then that's why I'm sick. But still wanted to do a video for you guys. So, today, remember when I was telling you guys in my last video that I was going to do a makeup tutorial, but I didn't want to because it didn't look great? Well, my dad gave me some money, and... I went to Ulta Beauty yesterday. I only got two things, but those two things I really needed most. So, I got the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. And the reason why it's a little darker than my face is because, I don't know if you guys can see, but my neck is a little darker than my face. So, that is why. Um, And this is in the shade Golden Caramel. You guys can see that. Then, next thing I got, I messed up the box because I wanted to open it. So, that's why the box is messed up. I got this e.l.f. highlighter. And this is in the shade White Gold. And it is so pretty. watch it for you guys isn't that so pretty okay so just let you guys know these two items together with tax and everything was $15 so this is $7.99 and you guys probably know elf products are really cheap so this was $6 so you guys will be seeing these two products in this makeup tutorial today because once I went to the store, I, once I went to Ulta, I was like, I have to do a makeup tutorial. So here I am with the makeup tutorial. I want to pull my hair back because I don't want it to be in my face while I'm doing my makeup. I didn't pick up a concealer, so I don't know if I'm going to skip that step or what. We'll just see as we go. So, I didn't get a primer, but I got this one. And this type of lotion is infused with argan oil. And it smells so good and it's so moisturizing. So, oh, the world. If you guys hear that, that's my family. Okay. So now I'm just gonna rub that in. And it's really, really moisturizing. And then once I'm done, I rub it in again. It kind of has that like tacky feeling. So I feel like it'll be perfect for our foundation. It's not like super tacky, but just a little bit. And I have dry skin, but in the summertime around my nose, it gets really oily. So. My skin is kind of different, but right now it's kind of dry because of the weather. Because it's cold where I live. So, I moisturized my skin. And I also have really bad acne right here. So, we're going to see if the foundation covers it now. I've, I've heard a lot of good things about this foundation. But since this is my first time buying it, it's kind of going to be like a first impressions with the um highlighter too 
I hope it's not too light for me. I think this is the only shade that they had at my Ulta, so yeah. I don't have a primer, so we're just gonna we're gonna deal with this. <laughs> I'm gonna put the foundation on the back of my hand. I don't know how much I'm gonna use, so I'm just gonna put on that much. I'm just gonna put like lines on my face. And we're gonna try it this side first. I think that's enough. I don't know because I never use this foundation. I'm gonna, I have a water bottle here, so I'm gonna spray this Beauty Blender. Um, it's not a really good one, but it's decent. So I'm just gonna spray it with some water just so it's damp. And we're gonna start blending this out. This is too wet. Don't want it super wet. And I'll move you guys a little closer. I hope this matches me, like, I tried it on in the store. I think it might be light to medium full coverage. So, I think I'm going to put some more on. I'm, I'm just going to go straight in with the BA Blender. And put those put it in the areas that I feel like it needs it more. We're gonna use this side and get some more product. I feel like it matches pretty good. I mean, compared to this side, this side is a little redder cause I'm a little red, but I feel like I need some more on my forehead. I feel like it's not that full coverage. I'm gonna try a little bit more. <laughs> Let's read it and see. So it doesn't say what the coverage is, but just using it, I can tell that it's kind of like light to medium. So I don't want to put on a lot. So I think this is pretty good. So hold on. I put it on my ear. Break it down to my neck.
So the side with the foundation. It's a little like um I think it's a little hydrating. It looks pretty good to me though. So this is the side with foundation. The side without foundation. It's definitely more tanner. So we're gonna put a little bit of a little more on my hand. On the back of my hand. I don't know if I just have a big face, but I felt like it took a long time for me to kind of like, I don't know, all the way cover my face. I forgot to do my eyebrows. Like I like to do my eyebrows before I do my foundation, but I think I was excited to get into this foundation, so it's okay which color to do them after. Okay. I think I did a pretty good job of blending it in. Okay. So now I'm going to do my eyebrows. I'm just going to take this little spoolie comb thingy. It's not the best spoolie, but. Brush them up. Okay, I think I'm gonna put like setting powder and all that good stuff. It'll, um, like, look better. Okay. So what I like to do is, I just use this pencil. It's too, um, like, brown for me. So I just mix it with, so I just, like, drag it on my finger. Because I don't really like using pencils. I like using eyebrow brushes for my eyebrows. So I just kind of... Run it across my hand. Just like warm it up, I guess you could say. Hold on, you guys. I'm about to sharpen this. I found my sharpener. My pencil sharpener. And I'm just going to sharpen this. So I just mix it with the black pencil. Because my eyebrows are not black. They might... Like, look black but they're not they're like a really dark brown so I'm just gonna fill in my brows right here <laughs> my brows don't have the best shape so I'm trying to like shape them
bushy like brow right here so I'm gonna try and like thin it out okay so I'll be back I'm gonna do the other brow because that took longer than I thought it was gonna take so I'll be back I'm gonna do the other brow okay now I'm just going to brush through my brows just to like make them look better I feel like this brow looks better but now I am just going to clean them up because they look kind of bad so we're gonna clean them up and see if that looks better I'm using my foundation to clean up my brows because I don't like it when my brows looks like light around the brow, so. So we're gonna use my um, foundation instead. And I'm gonna drag it down to my eye because I don't have like a primer. I just like to use my um foundation or concealer. I'm gonna put that all over our lids. And I'm gonna do the other eye brow. I've always liked makeup when I was younger and I used to play with it and everything but it just got like really serious for me because I decided to make my um a channel into a beauty guru type channel but I'm still gonna be doing like like all the um videos that you see on a, like normal personal channel but just add some makeup videos <laughs> so I'm gonna put some more foundation on my eyelids because I just want to like really not coat them but just put on a little bit more <laughs> I'm gonna put it with her finger And then I'm gonna blend it out with my beauty blender. So I really what recommend this um, foundation. Um, it's really nice. I feel like it blends out really easily. I feel like it matched me pretty nicely too. Okay, we're gonna skip concealer and go ahead and set <clears throat> my face. While I set my face, then I'll do my eyes. I'm gonna bake. I 
I should have contoured my face before, but it's fine. Okay, so now I'm going to take this brush that I got from, I think, Clark or something. And I'm going to take this CC cream and I'm going to contour. Because I have a flat face, so I like to contour. So I just pump it out on my... Uh, hand on the back of my hand take my brush and just try to brush it So it just kind of snatches the face a little bit. <laughs> do the other side. And I'm also going to do my jawline. That was a little too much. I'm gonna take this brush because it's a little too much and do like that. I'm gonna take the brush and do the same thing to our jawline. And now I'm gonna take some more setting powder. Where's my setting powder? Oh, here it is. <laughs> I'm gonna take it and put some setting powder right there just to clean up the contour. Okay, I want my eyes to be bright, so I'm gonna do that some more. Then I'm also gonna take this little brush and dip into that CC cream, and I'm gonna just contour my nose a little bit. I don't feel like I have like a fat and big nose, I just feel like It's not the um, thinnest, so I'm just gonna just contour that. <laughs> then take some of my setting powder and set like around the contour because it just makes it look more precise. Okay, so now we're going to move on to eyes. Oh, actually, 
I'm gonna take that same brush that I contoured with. And we're gonna take some setting powder. And set my eyes, and this is just so they don't crease. Okay. Now, we're gonna take this blue shade right here. I have so much on my hand, I can't even swatch anything. But you guys see, and I'm just gonna go in with that with this little fluffy brush. This is um, a wet and wild brush. That other black brush that I used was wet and wild too. And I'm just gonna put that in my crease and kind of use that as like a transition shade, even though I normally went and like <laughs> use bright colors for a, tra a transition shade. I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna wing it out a little bit. So, now that we have that all nice and pigmented and packed on, we're just going to do the same thing on the other eye. Oh, by the way, you guys, the setting powder that I use. is Kat Von D and it's the translucent setting powder just let you guys know because I'm trying to um tell you guys everything that I'm using so I want to try and put that on my lid right here So now I'm gonna take this brush that I use to um to set my eyes and I'm gonna take that same shade and put it on the outer corner of my lid. And put that in the inner corner too. I'm if you guys are confused, I'm trying to create like a like that whole like middle cut crease thing. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with this palette and I'm gonna use, actually, 
before I do that, I'm going to take that teal color. And I'm going to take it and I'm going to put that right in the middle. That little empty space. I'm going to put that right in the middle. Okay. So now I'm going to take this brush and I'm going to wet it. I don't have any setting spray, but if you did... Setting spray really works for shimmers, so I'm gonna, but if you have water, I mean, I mean, if you have setting spray, then that would be better, but water can work as the same thing. So, I'm gonna just damp my brush. <laughs> now that it's damp, I'm gonna take this, and I'm gonna take this shade right here. Can you guys see that? It's pretty. I'm gonna I'm gonna swatch it pretty good. So it's like pretty. And we're gonna take that with a damp brush and uh, right there. <clears throat> Actually, we're gonna apply that with my finger. See if that looks better. Okay, that's way better. Okay. I have a lot of fallout, Jesus Christ. Okay, so now we're gonna just take that brush and take that shade again and just kind of clean it up a little bit. Okay, now I'm gonna take this really pretty iridescent color. Right there, and I'm just gonna put that at the top. <laughs> now I'm gonna go back into this blue and clean up. The glitter because it's a lot. <laughs> and put, get that same blue that I put on our eyes and I don't like putting stuff on my uh, lower lash line because it just kind of makes my eyes water. But I feel like it just completes the look.
So now I want to put some shimmer. I'm going to take that, that purple iridescent type, type shimmer and put that in my inner corner. Okay, now we're going to take that, we're going to take this kabuki brush and fan away all of the super powder. Okay, but now we're gonna take this like really natural orangey blush and I like to take this when I feel like I look a little washed out. So I'm gonna take this brush and get some and tap off the excess. And I actually gonna use this brush. So this just makes me look like less washed out and just more vibrant to me. I don't know if you guys can see it. Now we're gonna, now we're gonna take this really pink blush and I'm going to use a lot I'm going to just When it looks too much, you're just going to take a really big brush and kind of just brush away some of it. <laughs> and now for... Probably the part that you guys have been waiting on. We are going to be trying out this elf highlighter. I think that's so pretty. So, sorry guys. I'm going to use this brush and just going to get highlighter that's really pretty It's a little weird putting highlighter on this side, but 
that's really pretty. So we're gonna put it on. Tip of the nose and down the middle. Okay, last thing is lips. I don't really like lip gloss. I mean, I don't really like lipstick, so. I'm just gonna do some gloss. <laughs> Even though this is a bold look, I like gloss. I think that highlighter is pretty, so. <laughs> so, um, now I'm just gonna put some gloss, I mean, some glitter on my lips. So, this is by uh, Victoria's Secret. <laughs> and it's just this little gloss, but it's really glittery, and this is in the shade Caramel Kiss. I want to put a little bit more highlighter on my cupid's bow and my cheek. Okay guys, now I'm going to take out my hair for the finished look and I'm going to brush it. Okay guys, this is the finished look. Let me know in the comments if you guys liked it. I think I did pretty good. I mean, I'm not professional, but I feel like for my first one, this was pretty good. Okay, so this is the end of this video. Please give it a big thumbs up. Comment what other videos you want me to do. And hit the notification bell. And all my social media will be linked in the description box below. Make sure you go follow and add. And yeah, bye guys.